Hello, my name is Suhail Murad. I'm a professor of chemical engineering at Illinois Institute of Technology and currently also the department chair of chemical and biological engineering. Before I talk about chemical engineering and Lams Lahar, I just want to give you my brief background. I got my uh, bachelor's degree in chemical engineering from University of Engineering Lahore, then did my master's at University of Florida in Gainesville, and finally my PhD at Cornell University in Ithaca, New York. Before starting my academic career, I actually also worked for a couple of years at Exxon Research and Engineering Company. So one of the things I want to talk about is what, why you should study chemical engineering, and then we can talk about why LAMS may be a good place for you to go to. If you look at the greatest challenges that society will face in the next, let's say, 20 to 30 years, the challenges are all related to chemical engineering. So if you, I were to ask you what are the challenges, many of you will say the shortage of water in the world. And actually, there is no shortage of water in the world. It's all a question of purifying the water that we have. And chemical engineers are the ones who are experts in purifying water. So for countries like Pakistan, there's a great need for chemical engineers to develop better methods of removing the salt from seawater or impurities from water. And that is a topic that chemical engineers can really, really contribute to. The other biggest problem that society is going to face is environmental cleanup. And that, again, is completely a chemical engineering problem. The third problem that people talk about a lot is on finding alternatives to fossil fuels because fossil fuels cause a lot of pollution and the ideal solution would be to find alternatives to the current crude oil to make hydrocarbon fuels and that is again a chemical engineering problem for example if you take agricultural waste then you need the right catalyst to convert that into hydrocarbon oils or fuels the last thing that is important is that is going to become very important is to find new strategies for combating diseases. And that again is becoming a very chemical engineering problem. An example that I can give you is, for example, supposing you are diabetic. There are two ways, reasons for that. Number one, your pancreas is not working. And that means that you have to basically introduce insulin to your body. That's called type 1 diabetes or juvenile diabetes. But the second example is when you have type 2 diabetes, there the pancreas is in good shape, but for some reason it is not getting the right signals to produce insulin. And that way you don't have to put insulin in your body, you just have to take a tablet that gives the signal to the pancreas to produce insulin. And as chemical engineers, we are experts at that. So we don't believe only in feedback control, we believe in feed forward control. And a lot of chemical engineers are working right now to see how we can, for example, even for diabetes, develop strategies where the sugar level never fluctuates, it stays constant. So you don't take insulin once your sugar level has become high. So you can see from this that chemical engineering is going to be a profession that will have a lot of demand for a long, long time. And a typical professional career these days is about 40, 45 years. So you have to think long term. Think of a profession that will be in demand for the next 40, 45 years, and chemical engineering certainly will be. Now, coming to LUMS, the biggest advantage that you will have if you go to a school like LUMS is because they are actually trying to develop a chemical engineering program that relies on fundamentals. And most of the advances in chemical engineering will be coming from people who understand fundamental sciences. And the fact that chemistry and chemical engineering are together at LUMS and it's in the School of Sciences, makes that an ideal place where a lot of future progress can be made in developing new uh, solutions for problems in countries like Pakistan that are based on local conditions. So if you study at LUMS in Lahore, you'll get to understand the fundamental principles of science, the principles of chemical engineering, and then you can apply it to solve local problems rather than rely on solutions from the West, which may not apply to Pakistan. In addition, LUMS is committed to hiring really, really excellent faculty members. I have been involved in the searches for faculty members in chemical engineering at LUMS, and I can assure you 
the quality of the faculty that they are recruiting is comparable to the quality in any first class Western university. So you'll be getting an education that you may want to get in a Western country locally, and that actually is a big advantage. So with that, I'll end, but I really strongly encourage you to consider getting your chemical engineering degree at Lums in Lahore. It will be a fast first class education. It will be education where you can easily go to graduate school if you want to. And finally, it will be an education where you learn how to solve problems that are local in nature, not problems that basically don't exist in Pakistan, but exist in Western countries. So thank you very much for listening to me. I hope you will decide to join Chemical Engineering at LAMS in the near future.